Hi there, how's it going? Are you good? Great, glad to hear it. First of all, bass videos. If you've sent me a bass video at some point, I'm going through them still and I'll show yours eventually. If you've received a comment by me, it will be shown for sure. So chill, relax. Uh, third of all, what I wanted to say was if your videos don't show some sort of extreme excursion, a lot of flex, a lot, your speaker needs to be going like this. Your speaker needs to be going like this, not going like this. It needs to be going like that, yeah? Then I'll show you a video. If your speaker goes like this and then goes I'll show you a video. If you destroy your speaker, in other words, I will show your video. There's a lot of videos that you haven't seen yet. It needs to be extreme, unique, something I haven't seen before. And I thought I'd mention that in this video because this stream deck actually helps me go through your videos a little quicker than I'd be able to go through them normally. Now I'm going to talk about the stream deck. Okay, so what I have here is a delivery. And inside this is a bigger version of this. Also what I have inside here is nothing. This is just oversized packaging. See that? You can nearly fit four of those in here. Here is the medium sized stream deck and this one has 15 buttons. The one I've just bought has 32. Now with this, what you can do is set up hot keys and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is set up the one I've just got and those LEDs are flashing every time I talk. Hmm, now I've had this for I think about a week now and already I know how useful it is. Up until about three or four months back, what I was doing was using a secondary keyboard attached to my PC, which I had on that side. And this right here is the other keyboard I was using which I'm not using right now. And that is because the software I was using to program the hotkeys on that keyboard has sort of stopped working. Anyway, you don't have to remember what the hotkeys do. You can have pictures on there to represent the functions. All right, so here we have the box and it's called Stream Deck, by the way. So uh, if you stream, if you're a streamer, this could come in pretty handy for you. You can switch screens at a press of a button. You can mute your mic. You can pop things on and off the screen and uh, stuff. All right, so what does it say on the back? Let's have a look. Uh, you can use GIFs for the actual buttons. I don't say GIFs, I say GIFs. But yeah, basically any hotkeys, any shortcuts you want to use in a program, you can use in this. Just program it and sort it. Uh, you can have a picture as the icon so that you don't forget. And that way you can program as many as you want. All right, so here we are with the razor. I'm just going to slice that like... Ah! Just kidding. And then this side. Ah! Turn it over and let it slide down like this. All right, so the quick start guide in this one is big. I wonder why that is. Here we have the smaller version and there's a quick start guide for that. So it seems as though the bigger one maybe has slightly better resolution than the smaller one. Okay, so let's take this out. Looks like they wrapped it up well. All right, so there it is. And here we have the USB cord. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is set up the software, which is already set up. I don't know why I said that. Um, I'll be back once I plug this in. Okay, so here we have this now on my desk and the light on the camera is gonna be a bit of an issue. So I'm gonna turn that off. Should be a bit better like this, I think, maybe. What I'm gonna do on this now is I'm gonna change some of the icons and add some stuff. I've already got a profile set up, but I'm gonna show you how to do it just in case you wanna know. There's a ton of videos on these out there already, which probably show you this, but I'm gonna show you in my own way. And a couple of these I'm gonna animate. So right here, what we have is the welcome page. In the software, what I'm gonna do is right click this and delete it. The first thing I'm gonna put on here is Chrome and I'm gonna create a folder. There we have a folder. Now I'm gonna change this picture for the Chrome icon. Okay, so right here we've got a bunch of them and what you can do is just select one, save it and uh, drag it straight in. So what I'll do is probably just use... Um, this one right here looks like it's got a bit of a shine on it. So I'm going to choose that one. This one's flatter. So I'll just save it and then just drag it into Photoshop. I'm going to select this. That's white. So I'm going to delete that. Going to add a background layer. Select black and fill it in. Now I'm going to save it as a PNG. Actually, what I'll do is I'll make it a little smaller. So I'll go like this and center it. And then what you do is just drag it into here. And that has now been saved and it shows up here. So when I press on it, we're inside the folder. So now what I'm going to do is click on this and go over to system and drag open to there. And now we can add an app. 
So I'm going to add Chrome, Chrome EXE, boom. What I can do is add the icon that I made. So just drag that on there again. Now, anytime I press this, Chrome is going to load up and it just did on a different monitor. Here we have Chrome, a bit of it. When I press this, another one's opened up, another one. And I can just keep doing this for as long as I want. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is add the previous and next tab buttons. That way I can switch between tabs without clicking on anything. And I might just add a refresh button too. But also what I'm gonna do is try to animate some of them. Okay, so hotkeys, I'm gonna drag one of these over to here. This is one of the icons that I made earlier. That is the next tab icon and plop that there. Now the hotkey for the next tab on Google Chrome is control and tab. All right, so here we have the arrows in Photoshop and now I'm gonna animate them. I'm just gonna click on this, unlock it. Now it's a layer and I'm gonna duplicate it like that. And then I'm just gonna move it across a little bit, duplicate it, do the same again. All right, so that should be good enough. Now we go over to window and click on timeline. Just double check this, create frame animation needs to be selected. And then you click on that. And then click on this menu down here, make frames from layers. And there we have our frames. And because this transparent background is showing, what you want to do is make sure that's not showing and make that black. Now when I animate this, that's what it looks like. And now I'm gonna export this as that, save for web. And over here, I wanna make sure forever is selected. Everything else seems fine, save as, and it is now saved. And now what I can do is find the picture and put it into here. And now it's animated. All right, so I've animated the refresh button, but I've left these two the way they are. And this right here is the other profile that I had on the previous Stream Deck. So I've added some stuff to the Photoshop menu. None of them are animated just yet. OBS on the other hand, which I'm using right now, has a few things. Over here there are more options because I ran out of screen space. And right now obviously I'm recording. Yeah, I've got a few things on here. I've got this. What you can do with it is press it, click and drag on any screen and then hit enter and it pops up on a screen. So yeah, that can be pretty useful. Okay, well that is about all that I wanted to show you of this. Um, the back of this is also magnetic as well. So it just pops on like that. There might've been a couple of other things, but I've forgotten now. So yeah, see you in the next one. Oh yeah, base videos. If you haven't seen yours yet, you will eventually. If you don't know what I'm talking about, ignore what I just said. See you in the next one.